When I say I'm pro-life, I'm not only pro your child's life, I'm pro your life. Dear sister, I don't know you. I don't know your story. I don't know how you got to this place. I know you must feel scared, feel pressured, or maybe even thinking, why me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry you're in this position. I'm sorry you feel alone. I'm sorry someone or something in your life made you feel like you can't handle the trials of motherhood. I'm sorry you feel like having an abortion is your only option. Despite what the world says about the choice of abortion, most of board of women claim that the number one reason they chose abortion was that they felt they had no other choice. I want to speak truth to that. There are so many choices and options before you. The road ahead will be hard. There will definitely be some suffering, but amidst it all, there will be joys. There will be love. I can promise you, you won't regret it. I am happy and proud to say that there are those of us who have answered this call to action. I'd like to share some of those resources and options with you now. One, pregnancy resource centers. They'll provide you with the care and support you need during your pregnancy. They offer medical, emotional, and at times financial help. Visit carenet.org to find someone near you. Two, maternity organizations that help with housing and support. Three to check out are Maggie's Place, The Sisters of Life, and Harvest Homes. These are just three of many organizations out there. Look up maternity homes in your area to find more. They can be the larger community that you need. Three, adoption. Adoption is a beautiful option. There are millions of men and women trying every day to adopt, but unable to because there aren't enough children available for adoption. There are agencies that will walk with you and help you find the perfect family for your child. Visit American Adoption for help today. Links to all these organizations will be in the description below. When I say I'm pro-life, I'm not only pro your child's life, I'm pro your life. I don't want you to feel like you're being forgotten in all of this because you aren't. I believe in you. I believe in the strength that you possess and your ability to not only choose this life that is currently growing inside of you, but to continue to choose and will his or her good. The reality is that that is a human life growing within you, not a clump of cells, but a human being who has infinite worth and dignity. God has destined you to be his or her protector. Abortion is not for a woman. It is not empowering or freeing. In fact, it's actually oppressive to us as women. The only injustice is the rest of us as a society. It's this woman not coming together to help our sisters out when placed in a situation like the one that you're in. It's time we end that injustice. It's time that we wake up, come together, and uplift one another. In the words of St. Mother Teresa, abortion is profoundly anti-woman. Three quarters of its victims are women, half the babies, and all the mothers. I don't want you to suffer from this oppression because we, you, were created for this. You were created to endure the hardships and the beauty of motherhood. You possess within you the strength to endure what lies ahead. But I'm not gonna pretend it'll be easy. You were created from love, by love, to love. You can do this. Love your sister.